Obviously we need wind energy. It just, it shouldn't be wildlife that has to pay the price. Reports indicate hundreds of thousands of birds are killed every year by wind turbines. That raises the question, renewable energy, is it really eco-friendly? Good evening, I'm David Walker. And I'm Katie LaSalle. And for Yasmin Dar, thank you for joining us. KVAL's Lisa Nico is live in the studio with more on the debate over eagles or energy. Lisa? Is charging your phone worth more than the life of an eagle? For the first time ever, the federal government gives the California wind farm a 30-year permit, allowing them to kill bald eagles, the symbol of our nation. 12% of our state's energy comes from the wind. Those same turbines claim the lives of 440,000 birds every year, a number that Louise Shimmer of the Cascades Raptor Center says could be on the low end of the spectrum. This right now is a voluntary reporting. Killing an eagle is a federal crime, but just this week, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service approved a permit that would allow a California company to avoid prosecution so long as it hurt or killed no more than five eagles in a five-year period. I hate the idea of you know 30-year permit to take eagles but I like these other steps that it will force these companies to take. Steps that include monitoring and reporting bird deaths and they have to take other steps that would mitigate um, the impact that they have. Bird so advocates recognize the importance of renewable energy but want safer alternatives. We're going to see more wind farms up here and, and that's a good thing um, but it needs to be very carefully regulated and right now we're very very concerned about the way the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is regulating uh, those wind farms and protecting wildlife. What I personally would like to see, rather than simply saying it's okay to kill the occasional eagle, is for them to invest money in alternative ways to create wind energy. But it is a step in the right direction, I think. The Shiloh 4 Eagle Permit in Rio Vista, California is the first of its kind, applying to both bald and golden eagles. But Shemmer says many more wind farms are on the list. Live in the studio, I'm Lisa Nico for KVAL News.